Now we see the two machines, Mori and Mili, are equivalent. Mori and Mili machines are finite automata with output, and they produce the output in slightly different manner. Mori machine is going to produce the output at the time of entering the state, while Mili machine is going to produce the output during the transitions. However, both machines are equivalent. It means we can obtain one machine from the another. This means if we have the say we have the Mori machine and we have the Mili machine here. So both machines are equivalent. This means if we have the Mori machine, we can obtain the Mili machine from the Mori machine. Or if we have the Mili machine, we can obtain the equivalent Mori machine from the Mili machine. So <coughs> conversion is possible. Means both machines, Mori machine and Mili machine, both are equivalent, and they can be converted to each other. So we have, if we have the Mori machine, we can convert to the Mili machine. If we have the Mili machine, we can convert to the Mori machine. So here we will see that how we can convert from one machine to the other machine. Let us see, we are going to convert the Mori machine to the Mili machine. So we have the theorem which says that if M0 is a Mori machine, then there is a Mili machine ME that is equivalent to it. So means we can obtain the equivalent Mili machine from the given Mori machine. So question is that how we can obtain the Mili machine from the Mori machine? So algorithm is very simple. What we need to do, say in case of the Mori machine, we have the state like this. If you are in some state, say for example Q, then this state is going to produce some output, say for example T. So in case of the Mori machine, we have the state like this. Every state is going to produce the output. And you may have the ages coming to this state. Like so we have the ages, say this is A coming to the state Q. We have the age b which is also coming to the state q we have the age say for example c b which is coming to the state q a b c are some input so <clears throat> we don't know what is here but assuming that from somewhere you are coming to the state q so this is one of the incoming age this is also one one of the incoming age and this is also one coming incoming age once the ages are entering to the state Mori machine is going to produce the output T and this we need to maintain in case of once you are going to convert this Mori machine to the Mili machine. So what we need to do is whatever ages are incoming to this state they will receive the same output as the state is going to produce. This means from this you can obtain the machine like this. This, this is the state Q and we don't require to make the output for this state because in the Mili machine we have the output during the transition. So one age is coming for the A. So what output is going to be produced by this state T? So this you can relabel this age and this will become now A less T. This means you are transiting during the transition for the A, it is going to produce the output T. Now, you can have the, we have the B. So, B, you can relabel and it will become B slash T. And also, you have the other incoming age, which is C. So, you can relabel it, C, it becomes C slash T. So, now <clears throat> this becomes this becomes to this form. The algorithm is very simple. What we need to do for every incoming age, we have to relabel. And what what should be the label? New label. The new label will be the 
same output which is produced by the state so you have the incoming age is e so we can say that a slash t means you are coming from some state means your machine is transiting from some some state to the queue and during the transition it is going to produce the output t similarly your machine is coming for the input b and it is transiting to the state q and during the transition it is going to produce the output t and your machine is transiting for the c from some state and it is going to produce the output t so this this becomes this so this is the equivalent for so using this algorithm this manner you can re you can relabel the ages of the Moria machine and in the state name you will not have the output now you will have simply the name of the state and if you can consider the one st one state one by one then you will be able to convert the Moria machine into the Milli machine so this conversion is very simple let us see one example so as an example let us see that this picture is for the Moria machine this diagram is for the Moria machine and what we need we need to obtain the equivalent milli machine from this Moria machine so what we need we need to consider the states one by one so we can start from the initial state so we have the initial state this is the q0 and this is the you can say q2 and we have the q3 so <clears throat> when we convert this Moria machine to the milli machine then we will have to write the states name like this in the state we don't have the output so now <coughs> see we can start from the initial state and initial state has no incoming ages the one age once you consider the q1 then the age coming from the state q0 for the what for the input a and in the Moria machine we know that the output produced by the state q1 is 1 so we can really relabel this and this will become now a less 1 means during the transition for the input a you are going to produce the output you are coming from q0 to the q2 for the input b and state q2 is going to produce the output 0 so you can relabel it and this will become b less 0 you have the loop at the state q2 so we can also relabel it and this will become now a less 0 now, one age is coming from the state Q1 to the Q2. So we can have one age which is coming from Q1 to Q2. And what, what is the input? Input is B. So you can relabel it B. And what is the output for the state Q2? This is 0. So you can say B0. So simply whatever age is incoming to the state, every age will receive the same output which is produced by the state so you can say you have to relabel so that the transition during the transition for those coming incoming ages we have the same output as produced by the state so the, now if you go for the q3 state q3 the age coming from the q1 to q3 so this is the age so this is for the a so it becomes the output of the state q3 is 1 so a plus 1 now one in input is coming incoming age is from the q2 so q2 to q3 and you have to relabel as b slash 1 as the output of the state q3 is, is 1 we have the loop also so we can say a less 1 and also b less 1 we can write okay. so that's all
this is the this is the equivalent milli machine so this is the milli machine from the muri machine so this machine becomes this so this is the milli machine this is the way we can convert any muri machine into the milli machine one thing is more see if you give the input to the muri machine like this a b a double b what output we are getting so output is when muri machine starts in initial state here the initial state is q0 it automatically prints a output symbol here the output of the state q0 is 0 so we have the 0 here 0 next one your machine is at the state q0 and your input is a so your machine goes to the state q1 and the output of the state q1 is 1 so we have the next in output is 1 machine is at the state q1 and the input is b and for that machine goes to the state q2 and once it goes to the state q2 the output of state q2 is 0 so your machine prints the output 0 machine is at the state q2 and input is a and machine remains in the same place and output is 0 machine is at the state q2 this is the state q2 and the input is b machine goes to the state q3 and output of the state q3 is 1 so we have the 1 here machine is at the state q3 and again the input is b so machine remains in the same place and the output of the state q3 is 1 so this is the output we are getting once we give the input to this Mori machine if we are supplying this input a v a double b then we are getting the output like this see what happen once we give the same input to the milli machine we have obtained so if the input is A, B, A, double B. So we are getting the output. Milli machine starts in state Q0 and at the state Q0 it receives the input A. And for which, for this input A, machine transit to the state Q1 and during the transition it prints the output 1. So it prints 1. Now machine is at the state Q1 and input is B. So machine transit to the state Q2. This is the state Q2 and it prints the during the transition it prints 0. Now machine is at the Q2 and input is A. Machine remain in the same place and during the transition it produces the output 0. Machine is at the state Q2 milli machine is at the state q2 and input is b now this is b so it goes to the state q3 and during the transition to the state q3 it it prints the output 1 so we have the 1 here now milli machine is at the state q3 and it has the input b so it remains in the same place and during this transition it produces the output 1 here so this we have obtained if we supply this input to this milli machine we are getting the output like this so what we have observed here when you give the input a b a double b to the Mori machine we are getting the output this and here you can see that the first symbol first output symbol here the output symbol is 0 this output symbol is printed automatically once Mori machine starts in initial state here the initial state is q0 and output of this is initial state is 0 
so this symbol is printed automatically the remaining symbols are corresponds to the given input so for the given input a b a double b your more machine is going to print one double zero one one in case of the milli machine the input is again same a b a double b and here we are getting the output one double zero double one which is the same as produced by the Moore machine so whenever we obtain the milli machine from the given Moore machine using this process we are getting exactly the same output except the initial symbol which is printed in case of the Moore machine when it is in the start state automatically like here zero is printed but rest of the output rest of the output which remains same in the milli machine so we are getting exactly the same output so this is the way we can send the equivalent milli machine from the given Moore machine